It's safe to say that Sydney Sweeney is quickly becoming one of Hollywood's it girls. Most recently, she's back portraying Cassie on season 2 of the HBO hit drama series Euphoria, which is trending all over to put it mildly. It seems the actress is celebrating her wins too, with the purchase of a $3 million starter home in the Westwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. While many young stars are throwing money down on modern farmhouse style abodes, Sydney chose something different for her residence. A historic pre-war house with gorgeous and well taken care of interiors. Sydney Sweeney seems to be living out her Hollywood dreams and we couldn't be happier for her. Not only is she booked for plenty of acting gigs, she just purchased her first home as well. She is best known for her role on the hit drama series Euphoria, where she has starred as Cassie Howard since 2019 and has also had roles on shows like The Handmaid's Tale, Everything Sucks and White Lotus, alongside Alexandra Daddario and Jennifer Coolidge. And that's just to name a few. Her acting skills don't stop at TV series either and she's been in movies including The Voyeurs and Nocturne. While Sydney has clearly solidified her spot as one of Hollywood's most bankable young stars, she also has her own production studio and is working on her first feature film, both producing and acting in it. Sydney has been long determined to be an actress, even convincing her parents to move to LA at the young age of 12 with a business plan, and it seems she succeeded. Now she can enjoy her very own home in the hills. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time checking out where Sydney Sweeney calls home. If you want to know more about her life story, then be sure to check out our video over on Famous Life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. After spending most of 2020 in lockdown with her beloved rescue dog Tang, Sydney has been on a roll with her work schedule, starring in a handful of series and of course the latest season of Euphoria. Outside of her hard work, Sydney has been keeping busy in her personal life too, recently buying her first home located in the Westwood area of Los Angeles, California. Westwood is a busy neighborhood in LA, offering the UCLA campus along with Westwood Village which is a historic district with restaurants and stores. There are also cultural attractions nearby including the Hammer Museum and Fox Theatre which is a landmark movie palace that often hosts impressive movie premieres. It's also close to Century City and Holmby Hills, the posh mansion filled neighborhood where celebrities like Kylie Jenner live. Sydney has said buying her first house was an incredible, humbling, amazing accomplishment, and it's definitely a milestone that she should be proud of. It seems that many others also like the actress's new home, considering a bidding war broke out, to which Sydney won at 305k over the asking price. For the $3 million she invested in this home, Sydney's residence has plenty of history, but it's also been well taken care of. While many stars in their early 20s opt for newly built homes, often in the modern farmhouse style or resembling a contemporary tropical villa, Sydney marches to the beat of her own drum, and she decided to buy a historic Tudor traditional fusion property built in 1933. The pre war era abode is getting close to its 90th birthday, but that doesn't make it any less valuable and it doesn't appear to need too much work done to it either. Her home is on a tree shaded lot that may need some landscaping but spans about a quarter of an acre of land and offers both space and privacy. Built during the Great Depression, the house was last sold in 1972 for just over $85,000 and somehow those owners took great care of the crib for all those years. Sydney's new home is humble and far from posh but clocking in at 3,200 square feet of space with 5 bedrooms and 4 bathrooms it's definitely big enough for her and Tank, not to mention any family members or friends she also wants to invite over. Since the quiet home is up on the steep hill, Sydney has to travel up some stairs to get to the front door. If that doesn't work for you, there's another option, the personal funicular, which you can see in the photos that runs from the garage down below up to the front of the home. Sydney's new home offers warm and inviting interiors which have been kept in amazing condition by the looks of it. While listing photos don't show the residence as chic or trendy, it looks comfortable and welcoming. There's a main living room that offers plenty of space, a brick fireplace taking up most of one wall, and large wood beams overhead with flooring below to match. The hardwood floors are likely the original ones and they continue into the bright dining room where Sydney will surely be able to entertain. She can also invite over her Euphoria castmates with how spacious these rooms are, or perhaps just the co-star who's also her real life bestie, Maude Apatow. The formal dining room also has a stunning 
stunning chandelier overhead, as well as a set of casement windows looking out to the front of the home. Now, let's look at the kitchen. While I'm sure Sydney is a fan of this home's character, the kitchen, well, it might be pushing it. While it's warm, functional, and well kept like the other common rooms, it's decidedly more outdated. Upon first glance, it's fully decked out in wood with pine cabinets and not so impressive parquet wood floors until you get a look at the white appliances. While they don't look old and seem to be in good condition, I think that Sydney may just give this room an overhaul and class the space up with some stainless steel appliances. Also on the main floor of the home, there are two potential guest bedrooms with their own ensuite baths, one of which was set up as a blue wood paneled sitting room. Moving upstairs, you'll find the three further guest rooms along with Sydney's master retreat. This might just be my favorite room in the house, and it looks like the ideal space to get some much needed alone time. Or time to relax with your dog. Sydney's master bedroom boasts high vaulted wood ceilings for historic charm along with plenty of floor space, a red brick fireplace, and a cozy built-in window seat. Perfect to curl up with a book or in Sydney's case, a new script to read over. Moving on to her ensuite bath, it flaunts an all-white theme which looks polished and fresh, as well as double sinks, a built-in tub, and separate glass shower. This bathroom is also giving me total spa vibes. I'm just wondering if those neatly stacked hotel style towels are included in the place too. This bright space also appears to offer the perfect lighting situation for Sydney to get glammed up for one of her public appearances or red carpet events. Moving back downstairs, one of the welcoming guest bedrooms also offers plenty of space and sliders out to the garden. We can also see there's a lower level office, which doesn't feel as warm as the other rooms in the home, but I'm gonna guess Sydney will give it a makeover to fit her personal preferences. Considering she's also a producer now, I'm sure she'll have some work from home to do here as well and contracts to go over. In fact, Sydney studied business in college mainly to be able to go over her lengthy Hollywood contracts herself. One thing that sucks is that Sydney's property doesn't seem to have a pool, a feature which I would consider a Los Angeles necessity. However, the lot is flat and spacious, so if she wants to install a pool, Sydney would have the room to do so with plenty of grounds left over. There's a covered lounge area off of the home for outdoor dining as well as a barbecue and brick patio, while the garden might need some fixing up. Either way, I'm sure Tank will have a lot of fun running around back here. While Sydney is now seeing the results of her hard work and success, life wasn't always like this for the star. The actress had been pursuing a career in Hollywood for decades and only now is becoming a recognizable face. She grew up in Spokane, Washington in a different lifestyle from what she's living now in LA. Her family home was on the border of Washington and Idaho, and in fact, she remembers growing up with no internet in the house. The star says she found other ways to occupy her time, being an athlete and having an imaginative spirit, which she's grateful for in the long run. She may be living in a multi-million dollar house now, but Sydney said about her hometown in an interview, it's a different way of life out there. It's very simple, family is everything. I was in every single sport possible. Not to mention while Sydney's move to Los Angeles ended up being a grand success, her family had to give up a lot for her to pursue her dreams. It was hard to keep up with the cost of living in LA, so the Sweeney's actually had to file for bankruptcy, losing their family home in the process. However, their daughter is extremely grateful, stating, I'm really thankful to my parents. They sacrificed almost everything. They had to leave their home they'd been in for their entire lives. LA is 10 times more expensive than where I grew up. All the financial stress, family stress, it had a lot of wear and tear on us and my parents ended up getting divorced. It was not a happy road to get to where I am right now, but I tried to give back as much as I can. Well, it may have been a long road, but it appears to be paying off in big ways. All right, now we've taken a look at the home of Sydney Sweeney, so I think that brings this house tour to an end. While this is the first property for the rising star, it chose character just like I would expect from her. The home may be historic and slightly modest, but it's still beautiful and charming as well. What did you think of Sydney's first home? What did you like or dislike? I personally like the character of the place and the only things that I would really change would be renovating the kitchen and adding a swimming pool to the yard. Either way, I'm sure that Sydney and her dog are enjoying it. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!